up to 130-inch lock screen through 1080p DLP in the dark environment. Performing well during the day thanks to 700 NC lumens. Use this anywhere you want with a large built-in battery. Up to 3 hours non-stop video playback. Autofocus with auto vertical keystone correction. Certified Android TV with Google Assistant built-in. Fast and smooth wireless screen mirroring through Comcast. Dolby Audio and Bluetooth for connecting external speaker. And suitable for casual gaming with game console like Nintendo Switch. Interested? Let's have a closer look now. Hey guys, meet Winmax Dice Portable Smart Projector. Outstanding build quality with sturdy ABX plastic housing. Stylish in design with space grey colour. Much smaller than the usual standard projector. Portable with around 2.2 kg in weight. Easy to carry around thanks to the handle. The main lens is located in front of the projector. Multiple tiny holes at the bottom that act as air inlet. Beside the lens, there is a camera for auto focusing. By the way, you can remove the lens cover to clean the lens when needed. Two 5W speakers on both left and right support Dolby Audio and DTS HD. The vents are for air intake. Power button with white LED light indicator are located on the top. Heatsink with fan is located at the back, top part of the projector. That's air outlet. Followed by DC input, headphone jack output, USB 2 port, and HDMI 2 port at the bottom part. Four anti skip pads are located under the projector to provide stability. And a standard camera mount hole in the middle for tripod or ceiling mount. Yes, you can even charge your smartphone or tablet where power bank is not around. As for accessories, here is the Bluetooth remote control for navigation. Very handy as you can control the projector in any direction. Loaded with Google Assistant button for voice command. Here is the AC power adapter for charging and power up with max die. Worldwide support with 90 watt total power output. Come with US plug cable. You can change it to match your country plug easily. And here is the cloth to clean the lens. Lastly, a handy user manual. As usual, take your time to go through it. FYI, there is a soft copy of user manual in the projector itself too. Based on specs, dies can support screen sizes from 40 inch to 120 inch, but it can go smaller or bigger too. 700 NC lumen is good enough for daytime usage. I'm projecting at 80 inch screen size with all lights turned on in my bedroom right now. Here is 130 inch screen size in the totally dark room. Everything looks even better now. In addition, you don't need a big room to enjoy large screen with small troll ratio at 1.2 to 1. Yes, it's truly your personal portable projector for all entertainment needs.
Dice will autofocus whenever it wants move. And it also supports auto vertical keystone correction. Just place it and the system will do the rest for you automatically then. The best part of battery power projector. You can enjoy entertainment anywhere you like. Or present PowerPoint when you are working outside. Just put it on the table and start the projection. Well do. Suitable for both indoor and outdoor. The 4-point keystone adjustment is very handy, right? Excellent optical image quality with 0.33-inch DMD chips by Texas Instruments. 1080p display output through XPR technology. Loaded with 4-channel LED light source and 100% Rec. 709 color gamut coverage. The best part, no calibration is needed out of the box. You can start to enjoy accurate, super vivid and colorful images then. Text performance is outstanding. You can use it to surf the internet or present PowerPoint to your group member during the work. Great for daylight usage as long as below 100 inch screen size. Easily pass the extreme test with flying colors. Corners are perfectly sharp and in focus. Pixel performance is excellent, as you can see. It is very handy to use dice at portable media player. Just plug in USB hard drive will do. You can play almost every type of video format through software like Kodi. A lot of audio codecs are supported. Subtitle too. Photo viewing is smooth like butter. Crips and details. The built-in 10 watt speakers are excellent. Loud and clear. Bass is powerful for such a small profile. Hear them yourself. Lastly, fan noise level is excellent. You won't hear fan noise at all during music or movie playback. 4K input and HDR decoding are supported once you enable HDMI 2 mode. However, a few refresh rates are supported only. Video playback performance is the same between HDMI and Android OS. 24Hz and 50Hz are great and smooth. 60Hz is the best with perfectly smooth playback. Great for fast patch action video indeed. M-Logic T962XH can play 4K contents easily. This 24P video is being playback by using Kodi Media Player on the Android TV itself. DICE is performing very well on both highlights and shadows. The same applies to contrast and colors. Rest assured that it will perform better than those budget LCD projectors thanks to the DLP technology. The shadows are darker and highlights are brighter. Super vivid and accurate colors too.
Outstanding performance in this 4K 60p video. Perfectly smooth video playback is what you get. Fifty Hertz is performing excellently as well. Perfect for pair regions content like Chinese TV drama. This is the official Google certified Android TV 9 that Wigmax Dice is using. MLogic T962XH, 2GB RAM and 16GB storage are more than enough for your daily entertainment needs. Fast and smooth. Yes, Google Play Store is there for you and me. Feel free to download all the applications and games that you want. Of course, you can also install them through Epicam method. Totally up to you. By the way, you can turn DICE into a portable Bluetooth speaker or connect it to other Bluetooth speakers. FYI, the connection is fast and stable. DICE is loaded with large 16,000 amp rechargeable battery. It can play video up to 3 hours non-stop on eco mode, half on brighter view mode, and requires slightly more than 2.5 hours to fully charge. Alright, let's have a look at the settings now. First of all, projector. Both autofocus and manual trigger focus are supported. Followed by keystone correction. Auto vertical keystone correction is supported. The useful 4 point manual keystone correction for those needed. Lastly, for projection method for you to select. The next one, image. 5 preset image modes and 1 customizable user mode. As usual, take your time to play around with them. Here is the stuff that EQ can configure in user mode. You can change the color temperature too, if you want. Lastly, 3 brightness modes to select. FYI, Eco Mode has the longest battery life. Yes, the HDMI input supports CEC. Handy for those who need them. OTF firmware update is supported. This is the latest firmware at the time of this review. And here is some of the system information that you might want to know. Yep, plenty of languages can be selected as official Google product. As for sound, Dolby Audio is supported. Preset, Cinema and Music Mode. Or customize it through User Mode, if you want. Alright, here are the settings for HDMI input. Everything is almost the same. Monitor and game modes are added. Child mode was removed. Sound settings are the same. Lastly, 4K input and HDR decoding are supported. One enable HDMI too. 
Let's have a look at the most common video app, YouTube. We Max Dice can play 4K X60 video flawlessly. No external TV box is needed. In addition, it is loaded with HDR10 video decoding support. Enjoy even more vivid colors with high dynamic range. You can't find Netflix at Play Store by typing, but you can enable it by using voice command. Everything is working smoothly. 1080p resolution is supported, as you can see. The same applies to other popular streaming apps like Disney Plus and Prime Video. Working smoothly as well. How's the weather today? Today in Sungai Pasir, there will be thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 33 and a low of 24. Currently, it's 33 degrees and mostly sunny. Launch YouTube. Opening YouTube. Useful Google Assistant, no doubt. Google Chromecast is working perfectly smooth too. The response is excellent for wireless connection. Yes, you can share photos and even cast video from your smartphone to the last screen easily. DICE has 2x2 MIMO Wi-Fi 5 connection. You can get 100 Mac on the 2.4 gig band and 200 Mac on the 5 gig band. Fast and stable connections. How about gaming on Android projector itself? It is decent for casual games. As for gaming through HDMI port, it is great. 55 millisecond response time on game mode is what you get. Great for casual games, no doubt. As usual, Pingboy is used to test projected gaming ability. Perfectly smooth on the Nintendo Switch game console. And do check out other types of games too. so hard to meet the right one. Oh, perfect. Oh.
That's all for Remax Dice Portable Smart Projector Review. An excellent and performing portable Full HD DRP projector with Android TV built-in. Suitable for both indoor and outdoor, thanks to the built-in battery. Interested? Please use my referral link below to shop. It will help me a lot. And do check out my top projector chart too. Don't forget to subscribe and thumb up. Thanks. I'm Jace, glad to see you here. Peace.